Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. I can't believe it's the end of the year and I'm already making a best of 2019 video. Like I feel like I just made 2018. Wait, no. This was actually a really long year. <laughs> Not as long as last year though. I think we can all collectively agree that 2018 was the absolute shit. Oh, no, I, that sounds like it was a good thing. No, it was dog shit. Ter oh, I love dogs. Okay, where am I going with this? <laughs> 2018 was horrible. We can all agree on that. But I like to hope that for everyone, 2019 was a pretty good year. I know for me it was, especially in my journey of skincare, which is what I'm going to be getting into in this video. I know you guys want to know what all of my top picks from 2019 are. And I know some of you guys may think you're sneaky because you've watched a lot of my videos and think you know everything that I'm going to include in this video. But surprise, bitch, I'm going to be including some that you may not have seen very much on my channel before because there have been some that have just swept me off my feet. I'm just gonna say get ready for a whole lot of products in this video. If you're a skincare junkie like me, buckle up bitch, you're gonna get a lot of dopamine hits during this video. Hiram, why are you releasing this video now instead of in December? I wanted to make sure to get this video out in time for Black Friday so that you guys can take advantage of as many sales as possible, but I want to say I am making this video with the intent of you saving money, of you buying less products, and of you just being a more responsible consumer. When it comes to Black Friday, we are all tempted, I know this, I am a personal victim to this cycle of just buying way too much shit on Black Friday. I mean, how can we not? The sales are fucking bomb. But I'm also painfully aware of the state that the earth is in right now, and I ask you guys, please, only buy what you need. I'm really making this video to show you guys all of my best favorite products that I would recommend to anyone out there, just to help you be able to hopefully find your holy grail products, and so that you won't have to buy a shit ton of products in test them all just to find that the majority of them don't work for your skin. For each of these, I try to make sure that I include some affordable options and also some luxury options just to make sure these products are accessible to the majority of you guys. I hope I did a good job. I, you guys don't understand. I try to minimize these products as much as possible. There were so many that I wanted to include and I just had to x -nay off the list trying to make this as minimalist as possible. Pretty sure I failed. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, please feel free to use the link in the description box below. I make a small commission which helps support this channel so I can keep making content for you guys and I would really appreciate it if you happen to do any holiday shopping this year. Thank you guys. So let's get into the best skincare products of 2019. So first off with cleansers. For cleansers, how could it not be a video on Hiram's channel if I didn't talk about the Youth to the People Kale and Ge Green Tea Cleanser. This one's so awesome for combination to oily skin and deeply cleansing the skin without stripping it. You guys know this, it's in every video. A cleanser I discovered this year is the Simple Micellar Gel Wash. This one's so awesome, super cheap, drugstore accessible and it just does such a good job of gently cleansing your skin really effectively. And then a recent addition to my favorites is the, oh my God, it just squirted water everywhere. I think there was a little bit built up from the shower. Ooh, okay. Well, wow. is the Holly Frog Nutritive Gel Wash. I actually find this really similar to Simple Micellar Gel Wash, but it just has some better plant extracts that I personally really like. I've really been liking this cleanser a lot. I would definitely classify it as one of my top cleansers of 2019. I do have one essence, even though I only recently got into the essence world and I really don't like most essences out there. The Primera Miracle Seed Essence, very, very good. This is the one essence that I've used where I'm like, wow, I see a result. Because most essences out there, I'm just like, I, I don't know what y'all are seeing, but I don't see a thing. This one's really good for hydration and soothing the skin, and you could just see a noticeable difference when you use it. The first is the I Unique Black Snail Serum. This one is so freaking good. The formulation is incredible because it's extremely right, lightweight, but has so many different types of ingredients that really focus on replenishing the skin of its hydration and overall just helping to restore the skin's health. I also love the Use to the People Firm and Brighten Serum. This one is just one of my favorite daytime serums ever, just because it provides every type of benefit that you want in a serum. If you're someone who doesn't want to use like a lot of serums in your skincare routine, this one is the one I recommend because it basically has every type of ingredient that can prevent against any type of damage. And so especially for young people or people with oily skin because it's so lightweight and sinks into the skin so quickly, highly recommend this one. Of course, the Crave Beauty Barrier Relief. This one's so great for overnight use, but also sometimes daytime use when you're really looking to repair your moisture barrier and just 
calm the fuck out of your skin. This one is bomb. The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc Serum. This one's so great for just controlling oil and sebum production, but also getting rid of dark spots and acne scarring on your skin. Tried and true, love this one. And the Inkey List Q10 Serum, which is great for my skin at least, calming down the redness, which is definitely something I need being here in Hawaii, where the sun is always shining like crazy. I need something to really soothe my skin, and this one is just so good at it. One of my favorites, super affordable. The next one is the Biosance Gel Moisturizer. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so good. And I know some of you guys may be like, whoa, why has he never talked about this product before? It's a recent addition to my top products of 2019. This one has such a lightweight texture and the formulation is just incredibly innovative. It works so good at controlling the oiliness across your skin, but also delivering deep hydration with those really moisturizing ingredients. So I'm a huge fan. Like always, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. If you have oily skin, you need to go out and buy this product. It's so good. It's one of the best moisturizers because it sinks into the skin so quickly, helps to retain moisture, but just creates the smooth, poor blurring effect across your skin. Absolutely love this one. Another unexpected addition this year, the iUnique Centella Gel Cream. This one's also really good for oily skin. I know a lot of these are recommendations for oily skin. It's just because I have more oily and combo skin in combination with the humidity here in Hawaii, but this one's really good whenever I'm experiencing redness and I do want a little bit more moisture retention than the other moisturizers. This one is awesome just because it does create that lightweight layer across the skin that helps to soothe any irritation and redness. And of course the price Point is bomb for this product. And then for my overnight moisturizer or someone who has really dry skin, honestly, the Dr. Brandt Hyaluronic Facial Cream, the least expected item to be on this list. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like Dr. Brandt products, but this one, I just cannot even describe how good it is at moisturizing your skin and holding in the trans epidermal water loss, you know, the process of losing water through our skin, which leads to dryness and aging every single night. This one, just every single time I use it, I'm like, man, my skin looks so good. It feels so good, it's so hydrated, it's plump. Even though it's a little pricey, I just, this one's so awesome. For sunscreens, all of my top picks happen to be Korean sunscreens. Just because Korean technology when it comes to sunscreen is just so above anything. I mean, it's obvious, anything skincare related in Korea is gonna be better than anything we have here, but they really come through with their sunscreens. My top favorite sunscreen of this year that I have been repurchasing, absolutely love, is the Dear Claire's Soft UV Airy Essence, wait, Yes, soft air, soft airy UV essence. This one is the most lightweight and absorbent sunscreen I have ever used in my life. There's absolutely no white cast, usually with sunscreen because I want to apply multiple layers to be able to get the most sun protection possible just so that it'll last me throughout the day. I usually can't apply very much because sunscreens are typically very heavy on the skin. This one is so lightweight. It's so freaking good. Literally like one of my holy grail products, I believe. And it lasts a freaking long time because of how big the bottle is. Super, super good. When my skin is feeling a little bit more in need of hydration, I love the Purito Centella Unscented SPF 50. This one also is really good. I'd say the only difference is that this one is a little bit heavier on my skin than the Dear Claire's one, but it can be really good for when my skin needs hydration. And usually when my skin is suffering with redness and irritation, which is what Centella specifically targets, I'm gonna want a little bit more hydration as well because my skin is damaged a little bit. And this one is really good as well. The sunscreen that I talk about is one that I don't really talk about on my channel because it's not really made for my skin type. And I can't freaking find it anywhere. I literally had it here yesterday. I don't know where it went. This is my house. Literally my entire room is just full of skincare everywhere. I need help. It is the Crave Beauty Beat Shield. Now, some of you guys may not think this is a sunscreen. It is. It's just not able to be labeled as a sunscreen within the USA, but it's a very, very strong, powerful one. The formula of this product is just so incredible, but I think it's definitely more suited for people with dry skin. And if I had more dry skin, like if I was in the mainland, I would be using the sunscreen every single day without fail because that is how good the formula is. But because it's in Hawaii, I rarely find myself using it. It just adds a little bit of dewiness to the skin that I personally don't like, but purely looking at a skincare formulation, it's just, it's the best. It's really, really good. And of course the sunscreen that I cannot live without, I keep this thing on me 24 seven. It's the Tarte Tarte Guard S PF powder. Oh, I cannot describe. I am so grateful I found this product because it is just so good. 
at touching up sunscreen throughout the day, providing a mattifying powder that helps absorb excess oil on the face and just blur any imperfections. It is so good. And the reason I like it is because I've tried a lot of different SPF powders in the past and usually it comes down to how good the applicators are. And the applicator for this one is just the best. It's the most clean. I say clean, but I, I need to clean the brush obviously. But with other applicators, usually what I find is that like when you actually like take out the brush and pump it, it'll like poof with powder everywhere. This one does such a good job of keeping the powder in, but also I just love how it works on the face. Definitely one of my favorites. And then for the final category, face masks. And I only have two. The first one being the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. This one I've loved for years. It continues to be one of the top skincare products of 2019 just because it's that good. If you have any type of irritation, redness, sensitivity in your skin, every single time I slather this on my face, it just, it goes down. Literally within 15 minutes, there's a noticeable before and after difference, which is why I literally recommend it to anyone with sensitive skin out there. Even though it does have some fragrant ingredients because it is a wash off product. And honestly guys, just because the results are so freaking incredible that I cannot ignore the good that it does for my skin. And then my relatively newly discovered The Ordinary AHA 30% Solution. This one just, it comes through with exfoliation. When I want to see a noticeable difference in my face right after I use a mask, I use this one and I honestly have to love it as well because the price point is just so incredibly good for something that delivers this much of a difference. Just obsessed, obsessed with this product. And that's everything guys. Those are my top skincare products of 2019. Why did I make that face? Are you guys going to purchase any of these products? Please comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts or most of all, because I'm always on the lookout for new skincare, like really, really, really good skincare. So if you have your favorite products of 2019, share them below. Please, please just go off this. Go ham. Spill the beans. I want to hear everything. And like I said before, if you are interested in purchasing any of these products, feel free to shop the links in the description box below. If you want to support me and my channel, I would really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.